More of us are working from home than ever these days, and as we start powering up those home offices, it's hard not to notice what it's doing to your energy bill. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield reports, that has many Minnesotans turning to solar. Lots of things have changed at this Plymouth home. On the inside, Brian Anderson had to quickly set up an in-home office for his work with Medtronic. On the outside, he decided to install solar panels and use the sun to energize his home. So you see the green, which is basically today's sunshine. He can make his own energy and share any extra. Actually sold 16 kilowatt hours back to the power company. So that's kind of cool. He's far from alone. With more people working from home and paying higher bills, more people are making the solar switch. And we've seen really booming interest across all sectors for solar. These are some of the projects Griffin Dooling's company has worked on. He owns Blue Horizon and is president of Minnesota Solar Energy Industries Association. And he says solar is the choice more Minnesotans are making. You're reducing the amount of energy that you'd have to buy from the utility. So you're saving money uh, on your expenses in that respect. But then also, you know, you're creating clean energy that doesn't require uh, you know, fossil fuels and doesn't require uh, miles of distribution cable and things to reach your home. And so you're reducing the environmental footprint of your energy as well. So let's talk dollars. On average, it takes about 15 to $25,000 to outfit a home with solar panels. To get a return on solar, homeowners will need to stay put for a while as it takes from five to 15 years on average to recoup that investment. But there are incentives, credits from the state and this big one. For example, if you did a project on your home today, you'd get a 26% federal investment tax credit. And it's important to note that that tax credit is a reduction in your tax obligation. For Brian, his home is where he plans to be, and it seems his investment is giving him some good energy. In Plymouth, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. And if you like this idea, if you'd like to find out more about it, we have a list of installers and incentive information on WCCO.com links.